Hi, my name is Peyton Schmidt. I'm a fellow in the Urogynecology Department as part of Obstetrics and Gynecology, and I'm gonna be talking about our project, uh, developing a surgery simulation model for pelvic surgery. We are calling the Fundamentals of Vaginal Surgery to help build um, and develop the foundational skills utilized in uh, pelvic or vaginal surgery. We didn't have any specific foundational skills program for vaginal surgery, so in response to that, I wanted to develop a program that specifically worked on skills that were utilized in vaginal surgery. So when I had this first idea of building a curriculum for vag the fundamentals of vaginal surgery, I set out to try to find somebody that could help me effectively achieve my goals. And identify, I identified Deb Rooney, who's one of the PhDs in the Clinical Simulation Center, who is very knowledgeable about medical education and uh, the medical education sciences. I applied for the Clinical Simulation Grant uh, to help fund model development and also to purchase materials and instruments that would be a part of the curriculum. At the beginning of the project, Deb and I sat down and discussed how to, what was the big picture. So our big picture was to create a, a model and exercises that were feasible, um, inexpensive, and could be readily accessed for our trainees. So we started out with a hierarchical task analysis of all of the different vaginal surgeries and then created an expert panel consensus to pick out commonalities that we wanted to be highlighted in the program. For developing our model and building a curriculum, we built a multidisciplinary team to uh, set out to achieve our goals. We have investigators in the obstetrics and gynecology department, the learning health sciences department, and the engineering school. So we uh, brought everybody together to look at the common skills between vaginal surgery, how to create a model that mimicked performances in vaginal surgery, and then set out to create the model and uh, choose exercises that highlighted these skills. Our curriculum that we're calling the Fundamentals of Vaginal Surgery has two parts. The first part is the model that we developed that is um, new and unique, and it essentially is a model that mimics the difficult dimensions that are required when performing vaginal surgery. The other component are the exercises that we have as a part of the curriculum that involve knot tying, suturing, and also pedicle ligation uh, surgical skills. Using the hemostat and a 2O polyglactin 9 free tie, place the suture around the hook. Perform a one-handed knot tie on tension by first throwing two knots in the same direction, creating a slip knot, then two in different directions, laying the knots down square. This is the surgical simulation model for the fundamentals of vaginal surgery. Um, you can see over here an attachment that can fit multiple different types of cellular phones or smartphones that have cameras. And then that looks into a window here so you can see what's going on on the inside. And then you can also see obviously what's happening on the outside with regards to hand movements and uh, instrument manipulation. Our model has a stand that can go on any table, so the idea is that this is lightweight and um, uh, mobile, meaning that trainees <clears throat> could potentially even take this model home to practice. Um, here we have a pivot, essentially. The pivot allows you to change the angle of the simulator so that you can practice in different dimensions. The other nice component of our model is that we made it 
uh, into multiple parts. So for example, there is an outer piece um, that has width restriction, which can mimic the difficult dimensions required for vaginal surgery. It also has a component that um, adds depth. So in vaginal or deep pelvic surgery, you have to be reaching areas that are far away from the, um, from the surgeon. And then it has a base piece where you can um, put a hook for knot tying, or you can uh, um, feed in different suturing material to practice suturing in different dimensions. This allows a novice learner to learn the basic skills without those added dimensions of difficulty. And then as they improve, you can add in these different parts to make the exercises more difficult and build upon those skills.